So I'm going to talk to you today about the BNI traffic light system, and this helps you get most out, the most out of your membership. Uh, for the new, for the first time visitor here today, it's not going to be boring. It look, may look it's going to be boring, it's not. And the two people, who are, the, <laughs> the two people who are going to join, this is going to help you going forward. Okay, yes, next please, Dave. So anybody heard of that trade before? Key performance indicators. Yeah. You should be applying for your business. If you're a painter and decorator and you go around the world doing, around the area doing um, painting jobs, you want to be measuring the, the mileage your vans do, you want the time it takes to do a job, the time it takes to set it up, the time it takes to paint it, the time it takes to get set down. And if you get those better metrics, you're going to be in better shape as a company. Thank you. So what are they? They're different for every business. But before we go any further, what does, let's ask a newish member. Hope. What does BMI stand for? International. Yeah. Uh, Business Network International. Everybody know that? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It stands for this. <laughs> Batteries not included. BNI doesn't work unless you've got some energy in it. And that's what this is the unofficial term for BNI. <laughs> Batteries not included. Don't tell Ivan Meisner. Um, so, what the next one, Sally Dave? You've got to put some energy into it to make it work. So, moving on to mind your way here. Sorry. Can I move on to that? No, it's okay. <laughs> I'll stand out of the way. Um, so, BNI also has KPIs. Um, we actually call them traffic lights only because nobody could think of a better name for them when they came in. Uh, so they are called traffic lights. And they measure two things. So attendance and participation, which is the energy or the effort or the activity put in. Attendance, we make no apologies about having an attendance policy. We do expect people to come to meetings because B&I doesn't work when nobody turns up. Yeah? So we do expect people to attend. So in terms of participation, we measure these things. Giving referrals, so giving people warmed up introductions to, for business uh, stuff. Next. Um, bringing visitors, that's bringing more referral partners in the room. We want to see lots of visitors in the room. We've got writing recommendations, testimonials for people. That gets measured and gets um, done as well. Next. Uh, building relationships, that's a keystone of BNI. It's the foundation stone of building uh, relationships with business people, like-minded business people. Lifelong learning, you've heard in the core values, uh, it's important. And we also measure um, the value of the referrals that are given by our members. So, the traffic lights are based on 100 points. I'm going to show you how today how those points are worked out. So, attendance is based on a maximum of 15 points. Everybody gets 15 points when they start. When you join Dave, you will get 15 points automatically. You will lose five points each time you're not here. Yeah? But you get 15 at the outset. So they're there to lose, not to gain. So be careful of that. Next, on the participation side, there's a maximum of 85 points. So that's a part of it. And the participation is done in these tranches. So warm up business opportunities, maximum of 20 points. A new referral partnership, a maximum of 20 points. Lifelong learning, a maximum of 15 points. Closed business, a maximum of 15 points. Building relationships, 10 points. And recognition, 5 points. So that's how the points are made up. If you add those up, they come to 85. Add 15 on, it comes to 100 points. The accountant has been verifying that since we put that slide up. So traffic lights, measure 3. They're called traffic lights because green, amber and red. But we brought a grey in about six years ago because not everybody gets into the, into the red uh, straight away. So the more points you get, and all the traffic lights are always measured over a 26-week period. They only work over six months. We can run them for longer, but we only measure them month to month on the last six months. So to get the higher up the traffic lights you are, then you need to have um, one, to one to 30 points is grey, 30 to 50 points is red, 50 to 70 points is, or 50 to 69 points is amber, and 70 points or above is green. And the idea is, 
If we can get everybody in the green, we'll be a super duper well performing chapter. That's the, that's the whole idea. I'm actually quite happy, sorry. I'm quite happy if people are in the amber or the green. Because that, this means they're doing lots of, lots of different activity. This means they're doing some activity really well and bits of other, other activity. And these normally are only fairly newish members. We've only got two members in the grey in our chapter and the birth of the two new members, which I'll come on to later on. So it's not specialist. You don't have to be good at everything or good at one thing. Um, but the KPI reward um, uh, uh, membership over, over a number of different areas that we measure. And we also use these KPIs um, to measure the chapter's performance and the region's performance and the BNI UK performance in the world. And they all get measured against these parameters, these KPIs. So if we put up our traffic lights for our chapter, these are from December 31st. So they measure the last six months of last year. There may be some activity going on since then, but don't, I haven't got the stats for that today. So that's the traffic lights. And we see we've got four members at the top, four members in amber, two members in grey, and a number of people in red. And the things across the top are, um, can't see them from there. Excuse me a minute. Yes. So palms, P-A-L-N-S, presence, absence, late, medical absence or substitute. And you get a score in the column. And that's how many times in the last six months you've done those things. So we've had 24 meetings in six months and you've got 24 in the P column. You've been at every meeting, Gail. <laughs> yeah. And Tilston. Yeah. But I'm only... So the G... The G is for referrals given. And Denise. Sorry. OK. <laughs> I didn't want to do a full roll call of everybody who's been here all the time. The R is for people who are, uh, that's the number of referrals that you've received. Um, v is for visitors. T is for testimonials. C U is for educational training hours. One-to-ones is obviously one-to-ones. And the thank business there. And you get a score based on the scores I just gave you a few minutes ago. So let's go through those in a bit more detail. So attendance, first of all. Dave? OK. So I've kept the, ne the names in the same order and put the weeks in and how many people have missed meetings. And that's the point. If you, I said before, you keep get 15 to start with, you don't, they, nothing comes off those. When you have one absence, you lose 10, five points. Two absences, you lost 10 points. Three, you lost all 15 points. So we've got, everybody's got points on there. But some people have only got five points, some people have got the full 15 points. Each time you're absent, you lose five points. Okay? That's the first thing. Next one, referrals. <coughs> um, <coughs> referrals are based on, if you do 1.2 or more per week, these are based on per week figures. 1.2 or more, so you need to do six in a five week period, or seven in a, in a four week period, or whatever. You get 1.2 or more. One a week will get you 15 points. 10, uh, 0.8 a week will get you 10, so on. So we work out the average per week, and then we apply the score. And again, you'll see at the top here, we've got 20s, maximum points, and then lots of zeros in here, because they haven't reached this minimum of 0.5. Now, that can be quite simple. If you look at um, Denise, 0.96, and you could have had another five points for getting to one. 0.04 would have got you to one. One more referral would have got you to one, to another five points. Or she. Three. You're three referrals away from one, getting another five points. That's all it would take to get another five points, and that's it. Three more referrals over a 26 week period. That's all I would have taken. Nikki, where's Nikki? She's not here. Three. Nikki is down here. 0.35. Three more referrals would have got Nikki to 0.5. I got five points instead of zero. Sorry, am I running out of time? Oh, bloody hell. Right, OK. <laughs> and Stephen, down at the bottom there, you think, oh, dear me, poor Stephen at the bottom. One referral 
in the eight weeks, actually refer, in the eight weeks you've been here, would have got you to 0.5 and got you five points, which would have put you on 30, which would have put you in the red. Simple, okay? Next one, Dave, visitors. This is the one where people struggle, or well, some people don't. But they, that's how many, to get top points, you've got to have one, ref, to get 100 points, you need to have 13 visitors in 26 weeks. It's hard to do. But Darren's on the way to it with eight visitors. Another five in the next tranche, he'll get, he'll get to 13, and he's going to do that this year. Visitors. Um, next one is um, one to ones. These are easy. Denise, one more one to one in the last six months. What will have done to your figures? Another yeah. five points. Yeah, okay. One extra one to one in the last six months. Could you have done it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Dave Tilson, could you have done one extra one to one in the last six months? You would add another five points. <laughs> so, it's, again, it's one every other week. Maximum points, one every other week. One a fortnight, that's what you get maximum points for. Um, so the next one after that is uh, testimonials. There's only one shot at this. You get one point for each testimonial. You get five points for each testimonial in a 26-week period. So when you've done four like Denise, you still only get five points. Testimonials given or received? Testimonials given. You've got no, 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 you've got no um, control over what you're given. What you say, what you, what you receive. You've only got control over what you give. And then, then thank business. <coughs> oh, sorry, training next. Um, the training's dead simple. It's in tranches of nine hours, six hours, or three hours. Three hours, five points, six hours, ten points, 15, uh, nine hours, 15 points. Look at the notes down here and the fives. Another three hours, Denise. Okay. Would have got another five points. No, but they know they can get back in the green. That's why you're picking them. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm picking, no, I'm not. No, I'm no, picking no. you because you're in the amber. And, no, you, no, and you, you know I can be in the green. You could have been there. And the, I would do the same people were here, people here, and people here. And that's what we're going to do. Um, moving on from that, <coughs> thank you for the business. There's three levels. £500, £2,500, £7,500. You've got no control over this. But this is the most important thing I can tell you, any of you today. Please, please, please thank someone who's given you a referral if it's turned into business. Do not leave it because a couple of quid could make the difference between somebody being there and there or there and there. And that's all it takes. You owe it to your other members to do that. So let's go on to the way we do this in... That's the, the thing again, so we're going back to the circle. This is how we do the chapters. And they measure on a different scale, different things across the top. You can read those yourself. You can see Chester at the top of the Cheshire West chapter, traffic lights as it, as it, at the end of December. Next slide. And we're top in our threesome in all those issues down there. We're bottom in these out of the three chapters. These are our worst bits. So it's, that's for the leadership team to address and do something about these things to get us further up the traffic lights. But these are only the three live chapters because we've also got two... Go on, Dave. We've also got two new chapters coming into the region who've been launched recently. They're kept separate because you'll see their figures for growth in six months are 18. Much higher than anybody else's because they've only just launched. So they're all new members in the last six months. So they don't come into there till they've done six months of activity, then it would be a five. And we want to be at the top of the fives. As a chapter, that's what we want to be. So how can we become better? Well, we need to understand the traffic lights. Hopefully after today you might understand a bit more, and I'm happy to have one-to-ones to explain them. Use them with new members. Make sure new members know the activity they need to do to get easy points. Get green, mem green members into red, get red members into amber, and get amber members into green. We'll improve the chapter's traffic lights and improve, improve the members' traffic lights. And look out for low-hanging fruit. Denise, any of those things would have got you in the green. Not hard to do. No, absolutely. Next one, Raymond Jones. Five points from amber, one testimonial would have got you into amber. One testimony in the last six months. And Stephen, you've mentioned that there. 
So what I want you to do is go for green. But to do that, get active. Thank you.